Hey guys, uh, this is going to be the start of VEDA number four. <laughs> I've done a really bad job at remembering to film so far this month, but that's okay. <laughs> um, Jesse's at my mom's right now. He's been begging to go there for the last four days, and she's been busy, or we've been busy, so he finally got to go today. Um, this morning, we met at the thrift store to exchange him, but um, they'll actually be coming by in a little bit. Because they're gonna, since they have a truck, they're actually gonna go pick up an exercise thing that me and Devin bought. They're gonna pick it up for us because we have an SUV that it wouldn't fit in. And plus Devin's at work. <laughs> but uh, it's Friday the 12th of April. Almost at August. It's not August. I'm just sitting here. I'm actually uploading right now Veda number three. And um, yeah, I'm just home alone chilling. I'm working on some stuff. I just cooked a roast, a pork loin roast in the oven. Very good. Got some laundry going. I got the fan in the window. Because it's cool outside today. It's like in the 60s and it's overcast so it feels really good with that air coming in. I always feel like I have something in my eyeball. I was watching um, Home Improvement but I'm about to start watching some uh, YouTube videos because I'm really behind and I'm, I'm going to try to get caught up since Jesse's not here and I can actually listen and like know what the people are saying i just shook the phone but yeah so i'm sitting here right now i was just working on these it's a boho uh urban gypsy boho bag it's a free crochet pattern i'll link it below if i can remember and it'll be my next no catchy name there's two squares that's one of them and this is the other one and that's like the body of the bag and then there'll be two triangles <laughs> that'll be part of it and then it'll have a handle and in the pattern it's got to where you can make a crochet handle or you can um, attach a strap and I'll probably make a crochet handle unless I can get to the thrift store and find a purse with a strap that I like and can grab it but yeah so I just got some jewelry dropped off to me from paparazzi <laughs> uh, I'll show you guys if you're interested this cool bracelet I don't know what it's like a fabric bracelet <laughs> And then I got this one, which is a wraparound one. It's like a pleather with rhinestones on it. I got these cute earrings. My ears aren't pierced right now. I used to have them pierced. And I'm wanting to get them re-pierced soon. So I went and got some cute earrings. They're little chickens. <laughs> oh, those are so cute. So I had to get those. And they were only a dollar. So, And then I got this um, bracelet. I don't know what these are called. But it's got like amethyst chunks on it. And then I got... Ooh, this necklace it's like a suede with metal on it and then another necklace that I think it's brass color it's a longer necklace and it's got a feather my sister's here <laughs> okay that was my sister she actually came to pick, her, pick up her jewelry because we both buy from the same paparazzi sales lady and she lives in my town so she always drops off both of ours to my house but anyways about paparazzi our paparazzi lady um she does giveaways on her live videos, and she usually has a live video every night where she shows the stuff that she's selling. And in case you don't know, paparazzi, the jewelry, all the adult jewelry, necklace, bracelets, earrings, is $5 plus tax. And then all the kids' jewelry, like these earrings, they're all a dollar plus tax. So, But the kids' earrings will fit adults. They're the same size um, bar thingy. But anyways, if you win a giveaway during her live videos, she puts it in with your jewelry that you bought, and she sends them in these little organza bags. So I've been collecting these. Every time my sister or me wins, she gives them to me. So if you get a package from me for, you know, swap or whatever, and it's got a pink organza bag in it, that's how I got it for free through Pop Roxy. I also wanted to say, back here I have a giant red heart, um, bright yellow. And what that is, is the seventh square of the Unraveled Mittens square blanket thing um it's called the granny peak or something like that uh i'm not enjoying that square at all the other squares i've been able to finish like super fast and just you know sitting while watching tv or something this one i started yesterday and i'm like four rows into it and i'm just not enjoying it at all it's it's a harder not a harder but it's like a longer process it takes more um concentration like you have to get it in the right stitches and it's just, I don't know, I'm just not enjoying this stitch at all. So I'm going to finish it. <laughs> but I don't like this one at all. I've liked all the other ones, but not number seven. Do, do any of you have like an issue with number seven or is it just me?
Hey guys, I've literally been sitting here for two hours watching YouTube videos trying to get caught up on everybody's and working on this bag. Um, I showed like a, a fast motion clip of me working on one of these triangle pieces. So I'll finish the two triangle pieces and then sewed the squares together, then the triangles on there, and then did the top border. So the actual crochet part of this bag is done. And it is, you know, an actual bag. But now I've got to um, line it. i got to dig out some material that matches it good to line it with. And she, on the tutorial, um, she went to the thrift store and found a leather belt. And she attached it to the bag with um, D-rings. I don't have any D-rings, but I'm thinking I could try to find either a belt or just a purse that's got um, its strap attached with metal rings that I can take off and use on this one. And then I'll just have to stick them on there and then line it. And this will be done. This I'm going to enter into my county fair um, for the purse category. There's also a tote bag one, so I'll be making a tote bag soon. But yeah, I made it with Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's Aaron. Let me look. Yeah. Aaron, it's held, It's made with two strands held together. So I just had two big jumbo balls um, and was using yarn from each of them. Ugh, it didn't really take much yarn. I mean, it's not that big of a project. I mean, it's pretty big for a bag, but not. it didn't take a lot of yarn. I like it. I think it's cute. And, um, oh, I forgot the thingies. They got um, fringe hanging down. I got to make that too, so I guess I'm not done with the yarn part. But, um, so yeah, I've just got to make the fringe, line it. And go to the thrift store and find some straps for it. And then this will be completely done. I can put it in my fair bin for the fair this year. We now have tassels. I finished all the yarn part now. Tassels. Tassels. Hey guys, good morning. It is Sunday the 14th. Today is my mom's birthday and my crochet along ends today. But I guess I won't post about that until tomorrow. <clears throat> but, um... I didn't film at all yesterday because we had plans to go to Devon's work Easter party and um, do the Easter egg hunt and all that and you know eat there and all that and have fun. Devon stay at work and then me go to, with my brother to Pokemon Community today. But yesterday morning when we woke up it was raining and like forecasted to rain on and off all day. And also Jesse woke up a little bit sicker than he already was. I'm thinking it's allergies because um his eyes have been like really poofy and red around him and his eyes never do that uh, anytime he's sick so I'm thinking it's allergies and he's sneezing a whole lot and when he sneezes he coughs afterwards because it's like the mucus gets brought up so I gotta wait till tomorrow morning I'm gonna call his doctor and try to get him in as soon as possible this week and hopefully if they think it's allergies too they can go ahead and send him to an allergy doctor uh, as soon as possible because uh, none of the over-the-counter allergy medicine is for kids his age without a doctor's recommendation. And I don't want to accidentally hurt him. So, um, we didn't go to the egg hunt. Instead, we, we did go buy him a toy. Um, because we had hyped up the egg hunt so much. And he was really looking forward to it. So, I felt bad. So, I went ahead and told him that we're, we'd go to the store and get him a toy. So, he got a Paw Patrol toy. <laughs> and... Um, what else do we do? We hung out here until Talent take Devin to work and we all loaded up and took him to work. And then um, my sister watched Jesse for a couple hours while me and my brother went to um, do Pokemon Community Day. Which it was still kind of rainy but we had our umbrellas and then it cleared up towards the end of the evening. And um, it was fun. We both had fun and then we came home. I got Jesse. And um, we went home. Jesse and I. He fell asleep on the way home. So I kind of just drove around on some back roads, going to back to my town just to kind of waste time and let him sleep. And um, then the, there's like a bunch of clouds outside and it keeps getting dark and bright, dark and bright. There's a window over here. But um, oh yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Jesse finally woke up and so I went home and we stayed in the house. You know, we snuggled up on the couch and watched TV until it was time to go pick up Devin because I kept the car I needed to uh, go pick him up. So I had time to get ready to leave to pick him up. We got ready, got in the car, and uh, I actually left a little bit early because Jesse was trying to fall asleep. He wanted to go to bed, and I didn't want him to fall asleep here, and we have to wake him up to put him in the car, and then him fall asleep back in the car. So, <clears throat> I left a little bit early and drove really slow all the way to Devin's work. 
Yeah. And when we got there, I parked like I always did, and I sat there and I was playing on my phone because I always get there early. Jesse was asleep by then, by the way. It rained and thunderstormed on us on the way there. So I got there and parked, and when it was time for him to clock out, he messaged me and said that some guy didn't come in, so he had to stay over. And I was like, crap, because <laughs> I was already here. So he came out and seen me for a few minutes, and um, he said that he would get a ride home because if him, him staying over, he wouldn't get out home until 3.20 in the morning. And I didn't want to have to get back out that early with Jesse. So, um, I me and Jesse went back home, and, uh, as soon as we got here, we both went to bed. And then Devin came home whenever he came home, three-something, and now it's morning, so, yeah. <laughs> he put together, we bought this over the weekend. What are you doing, you weirdo? A weight thing? I don't know what those are called. <laughs> but, uh, we got a really good deal on it. The people who had it were moving and they didn't want to take it with them and that's like a $500 machine in there and we got it for 60 bucks so woohoo <laughs> Devin put it together last night the rest of it what <laughs> you're being so loud but yeah I'm, we're gonna start using that soon hopefully I'm sitting here right now drinking my breakfast <laughs> what I want to talk to you. You just want to talk to me? What do you want to say? I just say don't want to go. Go where? To some Granny Paws later. Granny Paws at church today. Yeah. Today's Granny's birthday. She's going to go out and have a dinner today. Yeah. Remember, we bought her gift cards. So she'd go have her steak. Mom. <laughs> My mom's birthday's today. He's always wanting to go to Granny and Paul's. So Lord of mercy. He'd choose them over us, I think. <laughs> He's a butthead. But yeah, so I don't know what we're going to get into today. I'm trying to <laughs> eat better and... <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah. See, that's his cough. <laughs> but he didn't get that until he started sneezing real bad, which brought up a bunch of gunk. So I'm thinking it's allergies. I mean, it could be some kind of little virus or something but I don't know he's had never had them red puffy eyes like that when he was sick and that seemed like something an allergy would do he was so loud Because it's got a leak? Yeah. You are so smart. Uh oh, oh. Skadios. <laughs> so I'm laying here on the couch watching TV. Jesse's at my mom's. Um, when is today? Monday the 15th? Yeah, it's tax day. <laughs> I already paid my taxes though. <laughs> Twice technically, because when I filed my taxes, I paid them and then. I had to pay quarterly taxes. Okay, whatever. But anyways, <laughs> uh, Jesse stayed with my mom. We went up there this morning and we walked, all three of us, my mom. Well, Jesse rolled. He was in his wagon. But me and my mom walked a mile around outside where she lives. And uh, I came home. <laughs> and I'm laying here on the couch now. Devin's at work. It's um, a little after 4, I think. Yeah, 4.15. I'm not feeling too good, so I'm just laying here watching Deadly Women, <laughs> which is a cr true crime show. But they do, um, drama, what is it called? I can't say it. Drama, uh, dramatizations? I can't say that word. 
they act out the crimes and stuff and on this one part this woman's wearing a shawl and it's crocheted and I just I was just curious is it just me or does anyone else in this yarny world when they see crochet in a TV show or movie do do you guys yell out crochet like me because I do that every time <laughs> I'm, I'm here by myself and I did it <laughs> Uh, when I seen that shawl, but when when I'm watching movies with Devin and stuff, I still do it. I just see it and I say, "Oh, crochet!" <laughs> so I just thought it was funny. Does anyone else do that? <laughs>